Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the Creative Retirement Learning Center website to both register for a course, take out a membership, and do other activities with Creative Retirement. Obviously, you must start up your favorite web browser. Doesn't matter whether it's Google Chrome, as I am using here, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, whatever you want. What one has to do is visit our website, and our address, as I've highlighted here, is crm.mb. .ca. When you visit that address, you come to this, our home page, which has a horizontal navigation bar at the top. Right now, we are looking at the home section of it, which has our cover of our current edition, our categories down one side, and then some other events on the left-hand bar. Clicking on Programs will take you to our category listing again and some instructions on the program side in regard to how to use this. We also have a membership page where you may take out a membership in, to Creative Retirement, which is a $40 annual membership from whenever you take it. If I click on Donate, you may make a donation to Creative Retirement. We have an item on About Us that gives you more information about Creative Retirement. There is a news category. We have a listing of the instructors that teach for us and also a contact category. So from the home page, you will see the cover of the current guide. If you're interested in registering for something, you can either click on Programs, you may click on the cover, you may click on the View Courses Online, or you may go directly to a category. I'm interested in a lecture, so I'm going to click on Lectures. I will scroll down a little bit. All of the categories appear in the left-hand navigation column, and the category that you're interested in will expand to show all the items in there. I am interested in a lecture called Haunted Winnipeg. If I click on it, the content side will appear. I will scroll down to that, and I will get the title of the course, the course number. We work off of course numbers here, the time of day, the date, the day of the week, then a description of the course that's being offered, as well as a graphic as one is available. If I go to the bottom and I see that there is a fee, so if I wish to register for a course, if I were a member in Creative Retirement, I would click on Add My Cart to pay the member rate. If I was a non-member, I would click on the Add to My Cart at the non-member rate. If I am a non-member and click on Add to My Cart, I go to my shopping cart. In the upper right hand corner I can see I have one item in my shopping cart and it is the Haunted Winnipeg. If I realize that no, I think I'd rather be a member of Creative Retirement while this transaction is going on, I can click on Membership. I can click on Click to Add $40 Membership to Card. It expires one year from whenever you take it out, so I can add that to it. My shopping cart comes in. I would then see that, no, I don't wish to pay the non-member rate now, so I would need to delete that. Go back to Programs and Lectures and just re-register for the course again. I now choose Haunted Winnipeg scroll down to where we add it to the shopping cart and I would just choose the member rate right now. The shopping cart would then come up with the course I wish and the membership fee as well as the total. I can return to other sections of the website if I wish to join a club and I can add as many items in here as I want. If I wish to add the Armchair Travel Club, I can click on it. I get the details about the club. If we have a speaker in our database, under Speaker, there is a link to that speaker so I can learn a little bit more about the person that will be either instructing or facilitating the program. If I click on Brian McCann, there is a picture of the person, a little bit of background on the person, and then also there's a link at the bottom, Programs Taught by the Instructor clicking back an armchair travel club will return me back to that club. If I wish to add this club to my cart, I just click on add to cart. All clubs are members only, so that's why you only see the member right there. Click on add to cart, and I then see I have a listing of everything that I want. Once I have populated my cart with everything that I wish to put in it, I would then go to checkout. When I come to checkout, there is a listening again to confirm what it is is in my cart. If I notice that I may have clicked on something twice and I only meant to do it once, I would delete the second item here. I can make any changes or additions I want. 
I then scroll down to the spot where I complete the transaction by giving my credit card information and my personal information to make the transaction. We are on a secure site, as you can see, and as a result, it is perfectly safe to do anything in here. So if I wanted to do it, I need to fill these fields in. First name, last name, email address, my home address. This would be the information that is necessary to validate the credit card. City, province, postal code, phone number, and then my credit card number. It can be provided either with the spaces or without the spaces. The verification code is the three digit code on the back of the credit card the expiry date, there is a spot if you have any comments that you wish to add to it, such as you are purchasing two entrances to a lecture, one may be for you, one may be for a friend, uh, and we do not have that friend's information in our database, so just any information that you care to give us. Once that information is correct, I click on submit and check out. Please click on Submit only once to prevent duplicate charges. Click on Submit and check out. That takes a second or two for that to go through. I would then get success. What will happen is I will receive an email confirmation shortly indicating the activity. It indicates that my credit card has been successfully charged. If I were returned to the previous screen, one of the fields was not filled either correctly or was omitted, and it would be pointed out as to which field I would have to go to.